picture perfect. Hey guys, it's Kevin here. Today I'm going to show you my collection of vlogging equipment that I have collected over the years that has helped me to get a good vlogging outcome. I've picked up and learned what is best for me, that is convenient also for me. You don't need a $10,000 camera if you think it's going to be too bulky or inconvenient for you. The same goes that you don't need a $1,000 microphone if it's going to be really huge and bulky when you just need something really low key and easy to use. Find the things that suit you the best and also the things that make you comfortable. For my camera, I'm using the Sony ZV-1. This is literally a really good camera. I think one of the best for vloggers at the moment because of its really compact size and also because it has this really handy flip out screen as well as a microphone input, which is a really big necessity that you can mount to this hot shoe right here. After using this camera for nine months, I must say that I really love the super fast autofocus. It just makes my video quality so crisp and fresh. And at the same time, I love the portrait blur that makes my background nice and blurry to give a really soft bokeh effect. What I don't like about this camera, however, is the fact that it does a huge crop in when you do active stabilization, something like this. Yeah, that's how near it gets. As well as the shifting white balance when certain colors come too near the lens, it starts to distort and kind of change the white balance overall. And then I have to put in more effort to change everything back. For me, I generally shoot in 1080p because I think 4K is quite overkill, especially for my production and also storage. Besides that, I also shoot only in 30 frames per second because that's what I've been doing for the past four years. To me, that's really standard and something I will continue to do. Overall, this is a really good camera and I highly recommend it. Next up is the microphones. So for me, I have three different microphones that I am using at the moment or four if you count the last one. The first two are shotgun microphones. Now, let's start with the first one. This is the famous Rode Video Micro. All video creators know and have used. This is a unidirectional microphone that captures whatever's in front and gives you really nice clear crisp audio quality compared to using your inbuilt camera. Now I've learned this the hard way. Initially all my vlogs were using the inbuilt camera's microphone and now when I look back, wow what a difference a microphone makes. It looks something like this and this is literally what you see me walking around when I'm doing traveling or also when I'm doing day in life vlogs. Something like this basically on a daily basis. The next microphone is the Deity V-Mic D4 Duo. Now this is really special compared to the first because this is a dual directional microphone that is able to capture the sounds from both the front and back. So compared to the Rode, this one is much more versatile because it's more convenient that you can get both front and back at the same time, especially if I'm doing interviews or I'm in kind of an active environment that has lots of people speaking front and back. I don't have to turn my microphone front and back. So two shotguns over here, I normally use the Rode when I'm doing purely solo front-facing work and the Deity when I'm doing more active outdoor activities. The third microphone is not a shotgun microphone but a wireless one instead. This is the Rode Wireless Go Set. And honestly, this is a game-changing microphone because this allows me to not be near the camera and allows me to be far away to do all kinds of activities like sports, cooking or even traveling to show the whole background. And this is a transmitter. You attach it to the top of the hot shoe, such as this, and the receiver, which is gonna capture your voice right here. You plug it onto your shirt, such as this, and you're good to go. No wires needed. It's able to convey the audio recording from this to this. Now, what you will notice immediately is this is just so bulky and so unattractive. It's literally a square on my shirt. To ease the issue, I attach a lavalier microphone and this one, you can use any brand. I've gotten this really cheap brandless microphone from online. It's probably from China and it costs like maybe 10 ringgit instead of getting the really expensive road ones. The only problem is this one has a three pin plug and that would not work with the Rode transmitter. To make this work, I bought again another brandless adapter that's able to convert the three pin into a two pin plug. It looks something like this, and now it can function well with the Rode transmitter as you plug it in. Voila! This setup alone saves me so much money, especially if you bought the Rode adapter and the Rode lavalier. This cheap one functions just as well, maybe just not so good with the noise cancellation, but good enough for me. And now I can hide this in my pocket and clip the lavalier right here. 
to me, this is less conspicuous and also much more easy on my shirt. It doesn't weigh down the flap open and flap down. Next up, we have tripods. I have two that I'm using so far. The first one is the most convenient for me, the Manfrotto mini tripod. This is literally one of the most famous ones out there because of its sturdiness. And you can see it opens up like a really sleek black spider. It has a nice firm grip that you can hold to steady your camera. And if you push this red button right here, it allows you to rotate the head and flexible angles so that your camera can get flexible shots. So when you attach it, it looks something like this. Pretty decent size and height, not too big, not too small. You can see my hand is holding this within the height. And if you attach the microphone, this is a complete vlogging set. Microphone, camera, tripod all you need right here. You can switch the microphones to whichever you prefer, unidirectional, dual directional, wireless go, and you are ready to vlog. The second tripod is more like a bigger one that I put that allows the camera to be eye level or maybe even waist level. This is another Manfrotto tripod. I think this is the 290 series. Basically any tripod works as long as it's sturdy and also balanced. This one is pretty good because it has very strong durable claps right here and it extends to the height of maybe as tall as me. So that's a very good flexibility of height. I can arrange my cameras to capture whichever height angle I want as well as having a flexible head in all angles. So the difference for me between using the small tripod and the big tripod is the small one is meant for me to hold, probably to put on tables. The big one is meant to put on the floor to capture me more like a full length or maybe waist length and from a distance away. That's the main difference that I would use for the two. All right, now we're going to accessories. To me, this is more like a bonus, but also much needed. Your battery charger. Now, the Sony ZV-1's camera battery sucks. It's really bad. It drains so fast, like probably within half an hour, it's gone. So I need a spare battery. And to help me charge both, I bought this really cheap dual battery charger. It uses a micro USB port, which I think could be better, but I'm okay with this. And as you slide in both the batteries, it charges and lights up. You can see the battery percentage rise and probably it takes about two hours or more to charge both. To me, this saves so much time. I don't have to do it individually. And when I need both, it's all ready and charged. Last and not least for the final accessory, to me, this is something that is more of an aesthetic use that helps to make your vlogs look better. And I'm using it right now, I don't know if you can tell, <laughs> and this is it guys, this is a ring light. Didn't expect that, didn't you? It's more like a little halo over here. And this really does help to distribute light around your face evenly, such as this, depending on which angle you put it at. So the reason I use a ring light is because sometimes I don't have light sources from a particular angle. Like right now, there's only light coming from my window. It's quite dark here. If I were to put a ring light on this angle, it's able to give some highlights and not make my face look too shadowy or even better still, from the front. Everything is all even and smooth. The only problem is now my face looks a bit flat, but that depends on your own preference and also your surrounding light sources. And there you have it guys, this is it for my vlogging equipment spread. I have been using all of them for mostly all my vlogs, maybe each one depending on the situation, and they have helped me to achieve what I wanted, which is convenience and also decent quality output. I did not buy all of them at once because it requires a huge cost. So for this, I've actually acquired them little by little. You don't have to gain everything at the same time, depending on your budget. For me, it took years for me to acquire every single thing and a lot of research also because I was very picky with the exact equipment to match what I wanted. All in all, I'm really happy with what I have and I hope this inspires you to maybe even consider what you think might suit your vlogging experience. That's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!